Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy back here with another video today. And today I'm going to make this a weekly series. I'm going to go over the top 10 players in Mutt. I know you guys love rankings. I'm going to rank my my personal opinion. These are my top 10 players in Mutt. I'm not saying you need to sprint out and get these cards because a lot of these cards are really overpriced for what they are and won't be worth nearly the amount of value in a couple weeks. I'm telling you guys, I think right now in this game, pound for pound, these are the best cards that you can have on your ultimate team. Again, I'm not saying go get all these guys, but I think these are the best cards in the game. Before we get into it, like, subscribe, comment down below, you know the drill, turn on post notifications, all that stuff. Without further ado, let's take a look at it. So, we're just going to be hopping on the catalog, we're going to be looking at these players. We're going to go from 10 to 1. Number 10, number 10 is a player in which a lot of people wouldn't expect to be on this list, maybe. You know, he's kind of a low overall an 85 overall which is not low overall but for top 10 list pretty low overall we're going joey blunt right here we're going to show you guys the stats 85 speed 86 cell 77 tackling 84 play rec 73 pursuit with 85 man 78 zone 80 hit power six foot one two of one as well i've only heard good things from this card i haven't heard a single bad thing about this card you know his height's good you can use him as a user if you want to you can play him over top all that kind of stuff i think this card if you need free safety i think he's probably the best free safety in the game Maybe, you know, you want to go with someone like Ed Reed. But I think Joey Blunt actually probably would play better on your squad. I think Joey Blunt is the best free, sa free safety in the game. I have not used the card personally, but the stats and everything I've seen, this card's an absolute monster. So, Joey Blunt comes in at number 10. Number 9, we're transitioning over to the receiver. And I hate how they don't have this bug fix. But, receiver, we're going with a base elite. And we're talking Tyree Kill, if we can find him here. I don't know where Tyree Kill is at. I don't know why he's not in the catalog. Um, but we'll search him on the auction block. He probably will come up on the auction block. Um, another bug by EA. Tyree Kill not in the catalog. Why? He's a card in the game that's been since day one. Um, but here we go. 86 overall. Tyree Kill right here. You guys see 86 speed, 79 jumping, 83 catching, 77 catching traffic, 81 spec, 84 short, 83 medium, 86 deep. Five foot nine. He's not the tallest receiver in the league, but he is a fast speed demon who can run routes. I don't know what else more you want. This card should be on everybody's team if you're competing. This is an incredible card, a card that's going to be incredible for a couple more weeks in this game. Definitely worth the price to pay of what four fifty. Probably worth every penny of it. But again, if you don't have the coins, don't go out and get him. Next card up. We're talking about strong safety, and this is going to start, this is going to be our last 86 and below. We're going with Derwin James Jr., 86 overall, 84 speed, 86 excel, 80 tackling, 84 play rec, 84 pursuit, 81 man, 85 zone, 85 hit power, 6'2", 215. This card is absolutely insane. He is an incredible, he's always one of the best users in the game. Well, any way you slice it, this card is usually a guy that everybody has on their squad. Just incredible. I mean, if you need to use your card, this is a card to go get. He is 270. He's pretty pricey. Anytime a new Derwin James comes out, card comes out, I always sprint to get it. This card is absolutely incredible and a card worth the price. Now we transition over to our 87 overalls. We're going to start with the receiver. He's on this page real quick. We got Devin Hester going for about 350k right now. Devin Hester comes in with 87 speed, 84 jumping, 83 catching, 82 catching traffic, 85 spec, 85 short, 82 medium, and 90 deep running. He is a absolute demon one running deep five foot eleven incredible kick returning this is a card that is one of the best receivers in the game he is my second highest ranked receiver we'll talk about who i think is the best receiver in the game in a little bit but i think he's absolutely worth the price of 350k and will be one of the best returners and receivers in the game for a long time now we're going to again i'm just gonna stay on this page we're all we're talking all 87 overalls we're talking about cameron curl now strong safety for the washington football team 85 speed, 88 excel, 87 tackling, 86 play rec, 86 pursuit, 81 man, 85 zone, 82 hit power. Comes with, I believe that is deflator on him. I can look probably real quick. And, yep, deflator comes equipped for 2 AP. Um, this card is absolutely cracked. He is an incredible user card. He is six foot one, so he's got the height. He's got great speed, great hit power, great coverages. You can just play him over top, good excel. Incredible card. Cameron Curl, 280 right now. Not a bad card whatsoever. Definitely one of the better cards in the game. Now we're cracking into our top five here. And this is a card that's went up almost 300,000 coins. I told you guys to buy them last weekend. Warren Sapp, 81 speed, 82 excel, 86 strength, 85 tackling, 83 play rec, 90 block shed, 87 power move with 84 finesse move. 
going to be the best seed tackle in the game for a little bit. I don't anticipate him going off the top 10 list for a little bit. I actually own this card. I use this card. I think he's incredible. Definitely worth the price. Now, 700K, don't buy him. But if you bought him for about 400, 450K last week, I think I paid 475 for him. Definitely worth every penny. I mean, I could sell him off for 200,000 coins profit right now if I really wanted to. I'm going to hold on to him, though, because I feel like he's going to be the best D tackle in the game for a little bit of time. So, Warren Sapp, an incredible card to go and get. But he's a little expensive right now. So, unless you got a big bankroll, I wouldn't recommend picking him up right now. But if you got him while he was cheap, good for you. Now we're talking about another strong safety coming at number four, new legend this weekend, Cam Chancellor. Some of you guys might expect him to be a little higher. 87 speed, 85 excel, 88 tackling, 84 play rec, 80 pursuit, 70 man, 87 zone, 90 hit power, 6 foot 3, 225. This card could honestly be a lot of people's number one cards. For me, I'm putting him at number four because I'm putting three cards that I think really changed the game a little bit more in the three top slots. I mean, they're cards I've, I've used two of the cards. Uh, I haven't used one of the cards, but... Um, this Cam Chancellor is insane. He's the best user in the game, no doubt. He's the best strong safety in the game, best free safety, best corner, wherever you plug him in the game. He's the best in his position. He's an incredible card. Definitely, honestly, I think he's like 360 right now. I'd go buy him if you guys need a user that bad. Me, personally, I'm not getting a user like right now. I'm fine with the user I currently have. He's actually 480 right now. I thought he was 380 for some reason. Um, but Chancellor... Incredible card. Incredible card. That's all I got to say. So now we transition into the top three. It's going to become a shock to you guys. I got Chad Johnson here. I think Chad Johnson's insane. 86 speed, 88 jumping, 85 catch, 85 catch in traffic, 88 spec, 84 short, 88 medium, 84 deep, 6 foot 1, 192. Great card. You can use this card. He, I'm telling you guys, the amount of separation he gets when running routes is absolutely incredible. You will not see another receiver touch that. I think he's the best receiver in the game right now. He doesn't. He's not the fastest, but his route running gives him just absolute space. He just gets some space, and he can just run for days. The 86 speed is going to hold up. He is six foot one two. He's a little bit taller than the other guys. Chad Johnson, uh, Johnson I think, is the best wide receiver in the game right now. Go and get him. He's about six eighty, so he's expensive, but I think again, he's probably worth it. So now we transition over to number two, and I have it as Ramondre Stevenson. Now, this might be a little bit of a hot take, but I've played against Ramondre, and I've gone destroyed every time I play against Ramondre. I've seen people use Ramondre. They destroy everybody with him. I think he's number two because you can utilize him every single play. You know, a guy like Cam Chancellor, you're only use, utilizing him. He's not going to make a play 95% of the game. Ramondre can make a play every play of the game. 85 speed, 85 excel, 84 agility, 87 carrying, 77 catch, 80 change of directions, 87 trucking, with 87 break tackle, 6 foot, 227. He's literally just a bulldozer at halfback. Um, if you got this card for 400k, good for you. I didn't get him. I should have got him. He's up in price right now. I don't honestly, I'm thinking about paying 500k, but I'm going to see what running backs come out this week. But Ramondre Stevenson, absolutely incredible. And in our number one spot, this really shouldn't come as a shock to anybody. It's Warren Moon. Now, I think you should not get this card because quarterbacks don't historically last a mutt. I can't deny he's the best card in the game right now. He's the biggest impact on the game. 83 speed, 88 throw power 88 short 85 medium a6 deep 90 throw under pressure 87 on the run his play action is pretty low at 72 but really it doesn't matter gunslinger sefi lead all that stuff incredible card he right now is the best card in the game but i wouldn't be shocked if he's not even on this list next week because the second we get a better quarterback this card's gonna slide down he might still be in the top 10 but war moon is this is the best war moon card we've ever gotten much, which i'm super pumped about i think the oilers are fire on him i think he deserves a great card and i think they dropped that at the perfect moment I think this card is going to be number one. If they don't drop another quarterback this week, he's probably going to stay at number one. But Warren Moon is going to go down in price next week. So don't buy him right now. He's 650. He's expensive as hell. I would hold off just just maybe a week. He'll probably be about 400, 450K. But at that point, this is going to be one of the best quarterbacks in month. So if you guys did enjoy the video, I need you guys liking, subscribing, commenting down below, turning on post notifications, doing all that jazz. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. And thank you guys for the incredible support recently. It's been amazing. Let's keep it up. I'm NTG. Peace out.